everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Mia and today I'm going to be filming my drugstore favourites or cheap alternatives because not everything is available at the drugstore um, but they're really good prices and very affordable so yeah not everything is from like Boots or Superdrug um, it might just be online but they are very good products and definitely worth it so Oh, and also, if my voice sounds strange, I have a bit of a cold, so I'm sorry. I apologise in advance. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you miss none of my future videos. I post every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 8.30pm, so be sure not to miss that. And without further ado, I think we're going to get on into this video. I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back. So as you can see I've just done my eyebrows off camera and the eyebrows aren't the drugstore, um, I just used the Anastasia dip brow today um, but the concealer I carved out with was the L'Oreal Infallible which is a really nice colour, um, I like the texture of it as well, I don't think it really pulls on many dry spots and I have quite dry skin so I enjoy this concealer and we'll probably be using that later on the face as well. Um, but I primed my eyes with that as well today. Now for the eyeshadow because we are going to be including eyeshadow today and we're going to go into a little bit of colour and we're using the NYX um, Ultimate Brights palette and this is really good especially if you're just starting off with makeup and you feel like you need a colour palette that's a great one to go for it has pretty much every shade you need so I'd definitely recommend using this when you are a beginner now today we're just going to be doing like a really simple like sort of orangey look I think we're going to go for, that's my idea, um, and we're going to be dipping into this shade right here just on the end and we're going to be taking on a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush and I'm just going to be dipping right in there, really quite covering the brush and we are just going to be going right in the crease and just deepening it up not going too high up but still wanting it quite fluffy you know and just dip in as many times as you need to um i have to say um these eyeshadows work a lot better with the p louise base which i haven't included in this video but to be fair the p louise base is only 10 pounds so and then doing the exact same thing on the other eye and you're happy with the blend we're going to be going into a mixture of this shade and that shade again just dipping in same brush same brush and just go a little bit heavier in the crease as you can see like the colours really popped through now so we're going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. Um, now I think we're going to be doing a little, little bit of the deep pink shade here. This one. Just to define the crease a little bit. So we're going to be dipping in to the purpley shade, the deeper purple, just here. I'm going to take that on a Morphe M506 brush 
just really dip it in there and then bringing that down on to the outer corner and blending that up just slightly. And then you just want to simply take like a big fluffy brush, this is from Mali, and dip into the yellow shade and blend that out. I've decided to go for a sunset look in case you haven't already guessed. You just really want to get that yellow to pop just so that blends everything out. Now I've literally just done the exact same steps on the bottom, there's the top eye, so I put a little bit of purple right up to the edge, blend it out with the orange and the pink and then blend it out all the way with the yellow. Now to finish off this eye look, so these are the peaches and cream pigments and although you can't buy these at like Boots or Superdrug or any drugstore, you can buy them online and they're super cheap, like um, I've got another product of theirs to be mentioned soon and these are like 6 95 but you can get them in bundles the bundles are really good you save so much money on the bundles and you get more product so definitely check out these because this like transforms your eyeshadow game it really does it makes everything just like work so much better so now i'm just going to be taking this flat packer brush here dip into that shade most wanted and I'm just, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to make it work. And I'm just going to literally be tapping that on like that. Same on the other eye. The other thing is, you might think, oh god, that's a small part. It's really not. Because you don't, you need to dip in once. You never need to dip in more. Like, seriously, it's incredible. And then you just want to, like, tap over that with no extra product and just blend that out oh yeah i like it just blend that out and then when you get heat because you don't really want a line maybe you do i don't um, and i just literally like blend downwards to get that really seamless blend then going from this brush before and just lightly blend that and then dip into your purple again and just hit the outer corners one more time just going over it slightly so we don't lose that colour so we're pretty much done with the eyes now um you can add eyeliner with this if you want to um maybelline do a great gel eyeliner i've not got it with me today but that is a great gel eyeliner if you're looking for one um now we're going to move straight onto the face and i've just moisturized i don't really have a favourite primer from the drugstore so I've just used a moisturiser today and I'm going to be dipping into two foundations because my colour, I'm quite pale at the minute <laughs> um, and I've got one quite pale foundation and one darker so I'm going to mix them and they are both from the drugstore, two of my favourites this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and today I'm using Golden Beige and then the other is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 250. These are really good foundations, especially for like everyday basis. They're really light, not too heavy, um, but they've still got good coverage. So I definitely recommend these. Today I'm just going to dot my face with the Wet n Wild one. Dotting everywhere like that, and then we're literally going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation on a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Stippling Brush, and we're just going to be blending that out and I know this looks darker than my skin, but my neck is actually like that colour, so I'm matching it to my neck not my face So 
So that's the foundation done. Now I also have two concealers with me today. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer as mentioned before and I also have the Maybelline Age of Wine Concealer. Um, I think I'm going to be using a mixture of both of these today. So I'm going to go in first with the Maybelline one and just because this is quite dark like it's not got any brightness but I really like it so I'm going to be applying that pretty much everywhere and then I'm just going to go over the top with a little little bit of this as you can see this is a lot paler so if you just add a little bit it'll make quite a big difference like that now we're going to go in with the same Joe Fire brush on the chin and the forehead and we're just going to be blending that out really just like you blend the foundation out light stick plane and then it's almost like pulling motions and then a little bit of swirling just buffing that in and then I'm going to be taking a Real Technique setting brush but I have two of these one I do use for setting and then the other one I use to blend out my concealer so again I'm just using that like dragging motion with a bit of patting try not to get too close to the um, under eye shadow because you don't want to mess it up you just want to like blend it up gradually and I've got it to blend it like around the nose so you have no lines and just repeating the same steps just always get right in there if you can and then on the nose you just want to be tapping and I just do this motion which blends it out but keeping it in that shape Make sure you've got no harsh lines. And now going in with the other setting brush I have. And for powder today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me powder, which is a really great powder, I must say. Really great powder. Um, so I'm just going to be dipping into that and really generously just tapping over. Setting mainly the parts where you've applied the concealer. I don't always, well, hardly ever now, especially, um, but I hardly ever powder my full face. I just really powder where I applied the concealer. So I just went ahead and applied my bronzer off um, camera because I didn't use a drugstore bronzer, so I thought I might as well not show it. Um, if you're interested though, I did use the Clinique bronzer which in the shade 2, so i just a good travel one. I like it. Um, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, which I enjoy. Um, now, a recommendation for bronzer from the drugstore. Personally, I'm not always keen on actual bronzers as such. What I like to do is get a face powder in a darker shade and I think, I think it works so much better, so much smoother. And most of the time it's matte, so much better. But for blush today, we are going to be using the NYX Ombre Blush. And this is, like, so good. I really like um, quite a bit of sheen in my blush, so this is perfect. And I literally just go right in and, like, blend, like, ugh, that sheen. Oh, I love it. Um, and I swirl all the way in every part and then I just like my technique of blush is that you blend in your bronzer out with the blush wow that's gorgeous so you don't even need highlight really it just gives you like that natural glow um, and then I also like to put a little bit on my temples especially for the glow like it just makes your whole face look so much healthier like that but because we are extra we are going to be going into a little bit of highlighters today and the highlighter I'm using today is the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade 
molten gold and this is a really really lovely it's very well loved the pan is like come out completely yet so i can't really hold it up because it does come out um but it's a great highlighter so i'm just taking this morphe brush and swirling that i'm literally just swirling my brush in it tapping the excess off and ugh like can we just appreciate that glow i don't even know why i don't use this more often so pretty and just a little bit on the side of the nose on the cupid's bow a little bit on the chin And then right on the tip of the nose, going all the way up, really getting in there because it makes it pop there. And then taking a small brush as usual. This is the Jaclyn Hill um, JH39 brush. And I'm just going to be going right in the inner corner just to make that pop. And that is the face basically done. So like I mentioned earlier about the Peaches and Cream pigments, the other product that I would highly recommend are the lip liners. You literally get five for £15. Five lip liners for £15. These are all of the shades. They're all nude, um, but they're all different tones. So especially as a makeup artist, this is absolutely great. One, because they're sharpening, which is great because then you don't have to worry about infecting or any of that um two there's literally every shade of nude for everyone um so if they say oh i want a pinky nude you have it um well a bit lighter you have it a bit darker you have it literally it's so good so good um so today i'm going to be using the borderline lip liner and i'm just going to be using Okay, they're super creamy as well, by the way, I forgot to mention. And the last product I'm going to mention, well, one of, um, is the P. Louise Hull Gloss. And I know I, I wasn't going to mention any of these P. Louise products, but... This is just so worth it. Like, if you need a, new, a nude gloss, like a true nude gloss, this is definitely the one. It's £10, so, so it's a slightly pricey, but it's not that bad. Like, if you're going to get a nude gloss, get this one. It's not sticky, it's the right, it goes with everything, it's just perfect. So, I'm just going to apply that. So guys, this is basically the finished look. I've just popped on a pair of lashes and these are the Alero Buttercup Lashes in the style Paloma, I believe, yep. Yeah. And um, these were kindly, kindly gifted to me um, a few days ago. I'm just trying the, this is the first time I've tried this style out. Um, I tried the Tomorrow Lashes yesterday. Um, a post will probably be on my Instagram by now wearing them lashes so go check it out and can I just say like I'm actually obsessed with these lashes um there was a new brand literally I think they have like under 200 followers oh my god like they go on so easy like super easy they're really light very comfortable to be honest they're comfier than some of the lashes I've worn like by other brands I'm not going to name but they are very comfortable so I'd highly recommend them. I'm going to link their Instagram down below so please go check that out. They deserve some hype. And now just to finish off I'm going to be adding my favourite mascara ever. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Ecstatic and this is great over lashes on its own. Like it's amazing. It's so volumising. Super black, super volumising. It's just amazing. So I definitely recommend this.
So guys, that is it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, like I said in the beginning, I post every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 8.30pm, so be sure not to miss that. And if you would like to see more videos like this, maybe an updated one in say a few months time, um, definitely let me know and I will do that for you. And again, if you have any any video ideas, please let me know down in the comments. And if you aren't following me on my social media already, everything will be linked down in the description box along with all the products I've used today. I just want to say one big, big last thank you for watching and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys. I live inside my own world of make